Danielle Collins, an incredible match, the intensity, the fight, almost three hours at this time of the morning. And that's kind of what makes these Grand Slams special, that you have these kinds of matches. But how did you get through it? Yeah, I mean, it was getting pretty late. And usually I go to bed pretty early. Um, but I guess in the States, it's morning. So I kind of felt like I was playing a morning match, weirdly enough. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always hard when there's like, you know, lots of delays and you're waiting for matches and you don't know what time you're going to play. And I think I came out a little bit slow, but I uh, played a really good second set. And uh, third set, she was playing really well. And there were a lot of times wasn't much I could do. Um, and yeah, I just kind of hung in there. And, uh, you know, I think towards the end, I was uh, sometimes discouraged a little bit with how well she was hitting and painting some of the lines. She was uh, coming up with some incredible winners and shots, and uh, I just tried to hang in there. I, I'm really, you know, still not quite sure how I pulled it out, but I did. Well, you came up with some incredible shots of your own, right? And you had so much crowd support, and especially at the end. We heard some of your supporters getting very vocal. We know you bring a lot of energy when the going gets tough, but how did that kind of factor in and how did that help you? Yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of the people in the crowd were like my hype men today. Um, you know, I was like going back to the fence and people were like, you know, come on, stay positive, you can do it. And I mean, how cool is it like being able to live out your dream, but also have like, people that come and support you and are a fan of you and, and encourage you, you know, it means so much to me because uh, if I was doing anything else, I don't think anybody would be waiting outside of my work, you know, saying, go Danielle. So I really, I really appreciate it. It's so cool um, to be able to share that too with a lot of the fans and, um, you know, especially playing from down there and being able to, to pull out the win. It's, it's really, really special and I really appreciate everybody that was encouraging because I was I was getting discouraged honestly at some times there so it was hard. Well, she's a tough player, a former top 20 player, has gotten to the semifinals here. So you battled and you got it done. But I have to ask you in the tie break, you kind of forgot about the scoring format. You thought it was over at 7-3. That's not easy to recover from, and you lost the next couple of points. How did you reset and refocus at such a critical moment? Yeah, I mean, I was a little embarrassed. I, I, I guess I just never had to play a tie break in the third set in a Grand Slam. So, like, I just, I really thought the match was over. Um, and and then I, I, I was really feeling a little bit embarrassed. So I just told myself, I'm like, well, at least you didn't, like, face, face plant or something on the floor. And, you know, I, I don't know. I was just trying to, like, keep things in perspective. But, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good with the score either. Sometimes I forget. So, yeah, I got to, like, work on that maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, I think it seems like you did just fine tonight. So last question I got to ask. You're coming back here on the heels of getting to the finals last year. And how special was that? How has it felt for you being back here uh, in Melbourne at the Australian Open? Oh, well, I mean, every year that I come here, I have so much fun, and I've had some good success. I mean, even though I made finals last year, I've made semifinals here. I've pulled out some matches similar to this. Um, and I just feel like I can play my best tennis here. I feel like with the crowd support and how fired up everybody gets and supports us, it just brings so much positive energy. And we definitely feel it on court. I think all of us, this is kind of known as the happy slam. So I feel a little happier when I'm here. So I can get a little bit, you know, fired up and down on myself. But um, yeah, everybody's just been so encouraging over the years and so many familiar faces. And people that have consistently come to my matches and uh, I mean it's I just always when I come here I feel like it's so special it's just um, yeah it's so unique from all the other tournaments that I go to I feel like I get so many people that just love tennis and and want to root for us so it's nice well, you've pulled out some special wins. You're still going. You pulled out another one tonight. So congratulations and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Everybody, Danielle Collins.